Greetings, YouTube. So many of you have been so patient with your submissions, and now that it is Cyber Week, and I have 50 plus submissions to go through, it's going to be uh, a long, but you know, hopefully enjoyable month to react. I, I don't do these videos for clicks or revenue, or uh, I do these actually as a as a thank you to not only you all for supporting the channel and giving me the opportunity to hopefully breathe some life in your crystal opening, but to me, it's also like sort of the the counterbalance to the haters who think I'm just here to complain about the game because the whole purpose of accomplishing things in the game is to be able to celebrate them. So I actually, by these commentaries, I hope to inspire people to clear content and have a reason to submit their video more than, you know, complaining. Now, RNG can be a way to complain. And Lord knows I've seen my share of that this week. But at the same time, I love doing this because I, I'm I'm hopeful that this game, despite my uh, annoyance with things like relics, I hope this game has um, a life for many years to come. And I will be genuinely sad for so many reasons when it goes away. And so I try to remind myself that this is still like not a guaranteed thing so that we can be celebrating the community uh, as much as possible. And uh, we have this, is it Kidnass? Look at all these different Nexus crystals. And this was pre-Cyber Weekend. This was the best possible preparation for Cyber Weekend because this summoner really wanted to make sure that their account had progressed as much as possible. And that is why they fully explored Act 7, which is a pretty dang big deal. Now, you'll notice they hadn't jumped into Act 8, and so I'm hopeful by the time that this uh, account hit this past Cyber Week, which technically we're still in Cyber Week, that uh, Kidnass10 had a good experience with uh, maybe clearing some more content. But exploring Act 7 is a huge accomplishment. I will never, ever, ever say otherwise. All right. Six Star Basic is Jabari Parker slash Panther. It's one of those champions, like I just did a top 10 science, or excuse me, skill champ, I don't know why I said science, top 10 skill champs, and like Jabari Panther wasn't mentioned. It's not that they don't have value, but there's just so many good champions in the skill class now that just a lot of them kind of get lost in the shuffle, and I feel like Jabari Panther is one of those, although I hate the cleanse, I hate fighting that mechanic, and you know, I'm sure there's some battlegrounds value to that too. All right, two. Featured six-star crystals. I was beyond blessed this week, spoiler alert, to get a uh, Shang-Chi Awakening from a featured six-star. And here we have ourselves Galactus. Okay. All right. I see you. This is what you deserve after exploring Act 7. A Galactus. I have seen so many people open 30-plus of these and not get him. He and Quicksilver are the top two options, and I feel like the RNG backs that up anyone that thinks that you have the same drop rates to get hercules as you do say iron fist uh, i've got a uh, a coastal island off the uh shores of oklahoma that i can sell you there's titania just a crazy start two for two in featured it is so hard to do so kidnass congratulations now backing that up this is sort of like this is why you stop while you're ahead thing because I feel like, statistically speaking, you're really lucky for two out of five of your crystals to be feature champs, and this summoner has gone two for two. So, just speaking purely for odd standpoint, I expect all three of these to be non-feature champs. Now, Quicksilver obviously was in the mix. The crystal was never slowing down enough to give it really a chance of a visual. But uh, Black Widow Daily Origin is one of my favorite champions and one of the best decisions I ever made to take her to rank four. So, love that. Love, love, love that. Love that start. Best possible way to set yourself up for Cyber Weekend is through exploring Act 7, 8.1 after that. And Hulkbuster is another really solid champion that he didn't have. Wow. So here we are talking about champions that people got thanks to Cyber Weekend offers. And this guy was just killing it well before then, because this was submitted to me almost a month ago. And I know there are several of you who, whether it was via Evazone or Line or email or otherwise, are wanting me to still get to your videos. It's fine to send me a friendly reminder. Just know 
I am backed up. Um, there's only one of me, and I only like to post about eight videos on my channel per day, besides live streams, and I know that sounds like a whole lot, but I have over 100 plus videos that I have never been able to get to. My, uh, my email inbox from years back on things I haven't been able to respond to is up to over 4,000 messages, which gives me anxiety, to be honest. All right, uh, how do you follow all that featured six-star luck? Well, I guess with basic luck, but something tells me it's going to be hard to uh, do well in this. And certainly a troll from Rhino to White Mags is uh, a really good result, even though he already had him awakened. And so, uh, yes, this is before seven-star shards came into the game. I would have strongly recommended that the summoner just wait and open all of this until after, but they clearly didn't care. There were also nine six-star Nexus, and, and then that rank three to rank four, rank up gem. Wow. And arena boost? Just kidding. It's not exciting at all. It's being facetious. All right, nine six-star Nexus. Normally, I'd pause it. I'd break it down. This is already going to be about a 10-minute video, so I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to talk my way through it after never seeing this before. Korg, Nova, Miss Marvel. I would go Korg Awakening. I would not be right. All right, 0 for 1. Kamala Khan over Awakening of Korg. Second Crystal. Awaken Nimrod. I was so happy to do that from a, 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 a Abyss Nexus, which, by the way, now that I know how horrible my luck was with the cosmic. I should have just tried to get Omega Sentinel after all from them, especially because I had misspoke and thought for some reason that Omega Sentinel was released in 2021. And she was released in like March of 2022. So she's not in any of the selectors. She will be next year, presumably, but that's next year. There is Ghost New versus Elsa and Dr. Voodoo. I love all three of those champions, but you know, objectively speaking, Ghost is, is the clear choice there. Wow. Nine Nexus six stars turning out so well. There is Toad with a very long tongue. Mama Bear's uh, fantasy wall right there. Four more six star Nexus. Shout out to Allison, not a hacker, for her love of Ronin. But Medusa was uh, the clear option for most people because they don't have your skills when it comes to using... Ronin, who you've made into the best skilled champion in the game. There is Morningstar. Easy choice there. In between two different Captain Americas. How weird and random is that? Especially without it being a, a class-based Nexus. Alright. Um, there is Gladiator Hulk. And... Last Crystal... Apocalypse versus Ultron. That is a debate worthy of Cyber Week. Even though I can say that knowing that this person was preparing for Cyber Week. So this is worthy of a debate for Cyber Week without it actually being Cyber Week. If that makes any sense. What an awesome group of Nexus. How is it possible that you got better options in your Nexus crystals? I realize you got a lot of champs you don't have that I do. But then I did off of not one but two different Abyss Cosmic Nexus. I'm, I'm a meme. I'm a, I'm a gif. Alright, here's a Mutant Nexus. Uh, he was probably going for Apocalypse before uh, opening the basic. And now maybe uh, two Apocalypse in like 30 seconds. There's Namor, another champion that, yes, needs a lot of six stones. Ideally max six. But even with the Kabam nerf of him in the past... Still a very valuable champion, especially against annoying defenders like Electro. Alright, now the big question. Who's going to go from rank 3 to rank 4? I, I kind of wish, and I know Kabam didn't want to do this, but I kind of wish we had uh, opened crystals. And I, it, it makes more sense that we didn't have these crystals, not only to use rank up resources that are going to be in the overflow, but... The items give you the chance to use any class that you want. I just sort of like the pressure of having to say, all right, somebody from Cosmic's got to be ranked up. Somebody from Mystic's got to be ranked up. That almost makes it easier for me to plan my rank ups. But, you know, in general, I can't complain about the Cyber Weekend offers, especially Paragon offers, other than the 5,000 units for the five-star relic that I refuse to invest in. Um, wow. 
What an opening. What a debate. This nine times six star Nexus had some crazy debates. Ultron versus Apocalypse being a top list. I actually use Ultron more. I'd be one of the only people who might choose him over it. I know that makes me crazy. I've accepted that. Cadnas, Kidnas, 10. I thought that they had, I didn't butcher your name until now. Sorry about that. Thanks for the submission. Thanks for the patience. 